Whoa, what's up? Spartan Warrior here today with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you a few knots. These knots are used in the fire service. Some of them are for saving lives. The other ones are for hoisting equipment. I will tell you which ones are which, and I will tell you what their main purpose is for. Purpose. Um... So I've got a rope here. It will hold up to 200 pounds, or at least that's what the rating says. This is a triple braid rope. Triple braid means that this outer sheath is triple braided, and then there's strands on the inside that hold about 80% of the weight. The other 20% is held by the triple, um, triple braided sheath. So first knot that I'm going to show you is the easiest out of them all. It is the overhand safety knot. So off that is, is you take this rope, take, make a loop in it, make a loop around in the long, the long part of the rope, tie it off. Green is not around it. This is also known as a slip knot. Um, so it works well for a safety overhand safety knot. So then this one is an eight knot. So you hold it like this, if you're right handed, the loose end is going to be to your right, it's the loose end, the long end is going to be in your left hand, you got it hanging there, bring your right hand around, take the loose part, bring it around, bring it from knuckles to wrist, and let it drop, and that makes an 8 knot. Now then, from this, I'm able to make an 8 follow through. A follow through is designed for tying rope through an object, such as a chair, if I was going to hoist this. This is also a life safety knot. So, guess what that means? This can also be used to save lives. For this rope, you're going to put it through an object, then you're going to take this part and follow it back through. So that part goes in there. You wrap it back around, bring it up back in through here and you wrap it around one more time and you go out that very bottom hole okay this is an eight on a bite um, this that's what this is now the way I just did it it's an eight follow-through okay and you can't just sit there and oh okay I got it on time now you gotta take and do it the same way back out you got to go all the way back through until you get to that very last one. You're able to pull it out. And voila, you're done. Now, I'm going to show you this next one. It's called a bowline. Bowline, easiest knot in the world to do. So, you got, again, you got this loose part right here. So, you just take, twist. Just twist it. So, you make an X right there. Two ropes, the long part's gonna be facing towards you. You're gonna take this loose end, you're gonna take, drop it in through the hole. And once you got it dropped through the hole, you wanna make sure you got enough over here, otherwise you're gonna confuse yourself unless you're really good at knots. So then you got that part. So you bring this loose end around this long part and follow it back through, just like an eight follow through. Then you pull that bottom part tight, there you go. Now with all these, of course you're supposed to put a safety or overhand safety knot on it. I'm just showing you guys how to make it. If you're on fire department, yes, definitely put an overhand safety knot. That overhand safety knot does have a purpose. Okay, it's not like it's just there for, to make it look pretty. It's there for a purpose. So this next one I'm going to teach you is a clove hitch. Clove hitch is Greatest knot in the world. It's normally followed by two half hitches or three, uh, depending on what you're hoisting. You can hoist uh, pike poles with it, um, trash hooks, axes, um, just about anything. Um, you can even hoist dry hose lines or uncharged hose lines or charged hose lines. Um, now, to tie that through an object, you start out with this loop again with the X. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger so i got plenty enough room. You're going to take this, you're going to throw it through an object. 
That's done on that part. You ain't got to worry about that object. Not one more time. So now, basically, do the same thing. Go in the hole, around the tree, and back, back up out the hole. And voila. There it is. That's a bowline through an object. Now, for the clovitch that I was talking about, sorry, I do that all the time, I get off track. Clovitch, you start out making that simple X in the rope again, and then you do it on the same, at the same time again. Except for this piece of rope right here is going to be between the two. You don't want these two connecting. Okay, then you take, you overlap them, you can stretch it out as far as you need it. For this case, you need to go over this chair so voila just like that okay this is not a life safety knot and it's not designed to save lives period if it has anything to do with life safety that is not is not valid to be used now then, let me show you how to tie it through an object through an object is really simple it's not all that hard so you start out with this loose end again Bring it over, wrap it around, take this part, tie it around it. You take this other part, go right below it, bring it through the object again, and take this bottom part and put it right below it, pull it through. Voila. And as you can see, this piece goes across, these two pieces go opposite directions. If it doesn't turn out like that, you've done it wrong. Or if it falls apart, you've done it wrong. Now then, at the beginning of this video, or whenever I was talking about clove hitches, it's followed by two half hitches. Two half hitches is the same thing as a clove hitch. It is the simplest knot in the world. When I say the simplest, you understand whenever I show you. So, take your rope, fold it over once. So this little piece right here that's loosened, ignore it. So you got this right here. Now, you don't want this loose end to be up top, or on bottom, sorry. You don't want it to be on bottom, otherwise as soon as you go to pull on it, it's just going to come apart. No, what you do is, you take this loose end, you fold it, and you take and you put it over an object. Now then, when this is done, you always make two of them. You don't ever sit there and only have one half hitch. That would be pointless. Two half hitches right there. It's designed for hoisting. Same with an eight knot, but except for that one is also designed for life safety. Or an eight on a bite, or an eight follow through. Whichever one you're using. So is the bowline. Bowline is a safety knot, but it can also be used for hoisting. Okay. Now, they've also got the Beckerder's sheets bin. This is a modified version of the square knot. Both of them are really easy. Let me show you. So, you're going to have two ends of a rope, right? Got these two ends. Okay, no big deal. There's two ways you can do this. You can take this one, make it a loop in it, and you just go in, over, and back out. And voila, there you go. There's an eight knot. That's how you start that one. But for a Beckerter sheets bend, you're going to take this part back out, and you're going to take this part right here, where there's a loop in it, and you're going to go through it, and it's going to make an X. That's a Beckerter sheet bend. That is NFPA uh, um, rated. NFPA rated. That's what the NFPA says to use. Okay. Next way to do this is take... Do that. Okay. Now look at this. Which one do I need to do first? It don't matter. You always want these two connecting. So guess what? You just took the half the work out of it. And again, you see this part right here? You stick it through that part. That is called a Beckerter's sheet bend. This will not come apart. But it is easy to take apart whenever you need to. But otherwise... 
it don't come apart. It is a very good knot. It is life safety approved. It is also a bitch whenever to get it apart whenever you have gotten it really tight. Um, and pardon my French by the way. Um, I love for you guys that are in a part you probably heard ten times worse. I understand that. So, that's the Beckner sheet bend. Square knot ain't approved by NFPA to be used. I'm going to show you one more knot. This knot is designed for river rescue or water rescue. It can be tied one hand. Can you guess what it is? Well, to bowline. Bowline can be tied one handed. That is why it's used for water and river rescue scenarios. So what you do is you start with this, start with the loose end, got it in your hand. You now you got that current pulling on you. So you wrap it around yourself. You got it around yourself there, okay? It's never changed. So you take, you bring it under, twist it around, come back in through where it's looped, and you bring it around the tree, and you drag it back out. Now, this is a whole lot easier whenever you got something like webbing. Webbing is basically taking the place of rope. I really wish I had some webbing, but otherwise, that is a bowline. Like I said, river, water rescue. It's a really easy knot. Be tied one handed. That's how you do it. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Share it with your friends. Share it on your Facebook. Share it on your Twitter. Share it on your Instagram. Share it wherever you can. Um, I know I'm rather new. I've only got 10 subscribers. Um, <laughs> I still suck at this. So I'm brand new to YouTube. I've been I've I got a couple other videos. I got my Minecraft stuff. I got a firefighter tribute. Um, I'm trying to make more. My phone is really tough to work with. I'm getting a new Chromebook and headset. So hopefully, whenever I get those items, it'll be a whole lot better for you guys as the viewers and for me as the video maker. Um, Hope to see you guys soon. I'm going to try to make a new video as soon as I can. Now then, this is one way to do it. By the way, for storage, you can take, do this, and you take, and push it back up through these three. Just basically holds it securely. And this part right here, just bring it up through there. Voila, done. Ba bam Another way to store it my personal favorite way is with daisy chaining <laughs> right when I said that's the end of the video I was just kidding <laughs> thought it was funny if not then it would be cringy and I do apologize for it so basically all I'm going to do with this is going to take this end I'm going to make an 8 on a bite that's all I'm going to do here. I'm going to make an 8 on a bite. Oops. Oops. See? Right there. Even us firefighters messed up for you guys that, ain't, that are watching that ain't on the department. We do make mistakes. Please be patient with us. Everyone makes mistakes. So you got that end. I normally like keeping two longer strands. Um, just so if I got something... I need the two longer strings for I can use them. Um, a lot of guys will tell you, oh, that's retarded. Well, it's actually come in handy for four. I've done it. I've used, uh, I've had scenarios where daisy chain rope has come in handy so many times that it's not even funny. But yeah, that's all you do. You just take and make little chain links out of it. And this is the very end. Just got this last part. Now the reason I was saying this might come in handy is because there's still enough room here, I'm pretty sure, to make a handcuff knot. Yep, and there is. Look at that. So I ain't even got to do, undo the rest of my rope. I can fit this around somebody's wrist, tighten it, throw them over my shoulder, 
and drag them. Or I can put their arms up and over my neck if I've got to crawl to drag them. Um, in fact, I'll make a video about that sometime soon. Different drags that are used in the fire service. I think that will be my next video. I've, I'll uh, get a hold of somebody, one of my friends, and I'll have them be my dummy for it. Because I don't have a mannequin or nothing to use to show you guys that. So, we'll have a special featured guest in the next video, hopefully. So, peace.